This is that area where the attack happened. This is not only a bus stop for Bloomington Transit, but let me show you also, this is a shuttle stop for the admissions office. Police want students here on campus to be on alert. I mean, obviously, it doesn't make you feel safe. Erin Decker doesn't take her safety on campus for granted, especially after hearing about a fellow student attacked at the bus stop. The IU junior believes it's the kind of thing that can happen anywhere and does. I think that we're made hyper aware of things that happen here on campus. You know, any city is going to have awful things happen all the time, but just because we're on campus, we hear about it more often. Around 10 p.m. Monday, a woman wearing headphones at this bus stop near 7th Street and Jordan Avenue came under attack. She told IU officers a man wearing a dark blue hat grabbed her around the neck. Her screams alerted another man who helped Helped her get away. She boarded a bus to go home where she called police. An investigation on a person of interest is already underway, but officers urge students to report when their guts tell them something just isn't right. I think they have to follow their instinct, and a lot of times uh, they, we all don't sometimes. And I think if you see something odd, suspicious, that doesn't fit, I think you need to call. Reporting suspicious people is something IU Southmore, Christina Marte, would not hesitate to do, especially in light of what just happened. No, I would call, yeah. He's supposed to do, so yeah, I would definitely call. Right now, IU police consider the attack an isolated case as they investigate several leads and as word gets out about the suspect description. As part of the ongoing investigation about the attack here at the bus stop, police still want to hear from students who may have information. In Bloomington, I'm Steve Jefferson.